Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am kind of not starting a new series. I'm piggybacking off of something I did with my friend Jess like years ago, but I want to continue it. So it's kind of like a makeup artist does a makeup artist face. So I'm asking a lot of my friends in the industry to come and do my makeup. And this is Shani Galbraith. And she was one of the first ones I thought about because she does amazing work. I will be sure and put all of her information, Instagram handles and everything down in the description bar. So definitely go follow her and look at her awesome work. I will say she had a little bit of, <laughs> of a hard time with me no. because my lips, I, if y'all have been with me for any time over like a year, I used to have a breakout on my lips like every month. That happened, of course, two days before she Life. came. Life. <laughs> so the lips are a little... They're fine. Not the They're prettiest, fine. but she did great. She did great. So if you want to see how she got this look, she kind of did a clean beauty look because if you see her Instagram, those are like, I mean, she's so good at that. She does a lot of model headshots and stuff. She did that first and then she just showed how she would amp it up to like a more bridal or kind of night out look. So thank you, Shani, for thank having me. Thank you for having me. It was me. so much fun. And if you want to see how she got this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so we are going to get started. So I've already done my skincare because I didn't think twice about it. <laughs> I just did it. But I want Shani to tell us like what you normally do for skincare for this kind of look. Right. So typically I would wet down a cotton pad or cotton round with um, some micellar water, Bioderma, um, or whatever I've got in my kit in that time just to kind of wipe everything off, mm -hmm. give a little light exfoliation. Okay. Um, and then I would lightly mist um, with the rose spray or a prep spray or something like Is that. Is that by, oh, that's Herbivore. by Herbivore. Yeah, yeah. I like Herbivore. Um, and then after that, depending upon your skin type is what kind of moisturizer I would use. Okay. Um, here recently I have been using the Herbivore Botanicals. Ooh, Pink Cloud. Pink I Cloud. I've heard good things. I love it so much. It actually works really well on most skin types mm -hmm. and um, it has a nice tack, tacky. Is it like jelly kind of on no. a, or like a water? Uh, yes. Okay. More okay. like a water but a little thicker. Okay. So it does hydrate really well um, and it's great if you want a very dewy skin but not to actually look like you're melting. Okay. Um, so that's the moisturizer, moisturizer I've been using for a clean dewy skin look. If you are more prone to oily skin, um, I would use the Seriously Shine Free Moisturizer. This okay. is what I use for male grooming, um, for a lot of brides and bridesmaids on wedding yeah. days to keep everything okay. in place. Okay. And that's fairly affordable too. You can it's get that at Ulta. Affordable. I think it's like $7 I, well, or something. Yeah, yeah. And I stock up anytime they do a buy one get one. Yeah. I'll buy like yeah. 10 bottles. It's I've used fantastic. that before. It's good. Um, <clears throat> if the client needs an under eye cream, mm -hmm. I'll do the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright. That's what I eye. use. I have that. In I mind. love this. Um, if they have redness or anything like that, the Dr. Jark Cicapair. Cicapair. I have not tried that yet. I love it for rosacea. Okay. For um, if they've got some breakouts going on that are very red. Okay. Um, so it but just it calms it down. A little, little, little bit goes a very long way. Okay. Um, and then I would prep lips, which we are going to do. Yes. Um, with some Lucas Papa or the Herbivore Botanicals um, Coconut Lip Balm. Okay. One or the other of those. So she's going to use Lucas Papa because, as I've probably already stated in the intro, my lips are doing one of their fabulous breakouts right now, and it looks like a bee stung them, and it's very reminiscent of a burn, uh, according to my dermatologist. So she said this is really good for actual burns. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, and my hands are sanitized. Okay. So, I them. so I typically start with eyes. Okay. It's just easier for me. Um, I, depending upon the person, are you typically, is your eyelid more oily or? No. Okay. So then I would go in with probably the NARS Creamy Radiant. What's your favorite eye primer for oily lids? MAC Paint Pots. Okay. Or Tarte Shape Tape depending upon the look that we're doing. Okay. But I would say 99% of the time I go straight for MAC Paint Pots. Okay. Um, if especially for like wedding day bridal looks, things like that. For clean beauty, more editorial type stuff, I do the NARS. You're going to have fun with my brows. I have none, as you can tell. <laughs> I love brows. I like creating brows. Oh, good, because I have to create them every day. 
Okay. Uh, yes. Our grin pro. Yes. Okay. So show them which color you're doing. Just that this, bone color. Yeah. Kinda. And you can okay. see of all the colors, it's that the one that yep. I dip into the absolute most. I just um, got that new, uh, the new neutral mats volume two. Yeah. It's so good. I think I'm pretty much at a place where 75% of my shadows are busy art. Uh-huh. Well, because they don't ever not work. Right. Um, every now and then I'll think, oh, I'm going to bust out this palette mm -hmm. um, and play with it. And I get frustrated. Yep, because they don't work the same. They don't work the same. They don't blend as well. They just don't. And they don't stay. Like, even the longevity mm -hmm. of Busy Art is just, it's so good. Now, I did just dip into this. I don't even know what these colors are called. Like peachy Peachy type. tone. Okay. Because you've got some blues and purples I in the do. List. I have a lot I of discoloration. Do. And I'm actually going to go down over here. Okay. Just a tiny, tiny bit. Pretty brown color. Yep. Do you have a favorite brush line? It depends on the where we're at on the face. Okay. So for like foundation, concealer, mm -hmm. um, I really love real techniques. I have so many real techniques. Yeah, same, same. Like I, their face brush is just, it blends and buffs mm -hmm. so well. Their setting brush is my favorite brush of all time. I have 10 of them. Yeah. Oh, that's the little guy the that I use. little on your, pink one? Yeah, that's. Yes. I use this I use for, for concealer, yes. for setting under the eye. Highlight, for contour. Highlight, all yes. Of it. Yes. It works for everything. It's yeah. really even good for foundation. Yes. For like a sheer. Yes. I think we're going to go Vizzy Art Eyebrow Palette today. Okay. Um, I carry this and then I also have some of the ABH brow pomade. Okay. Um, I feel like that might look a little heavy on you. Yeah. I don't have the Busy Art Brow Palette. I do the, the I have the Senna one, mm -hmm. which I like, but I'm hitting pan on a couple colors, so. Well, I like this one because it was much smaller. Yes. Um, and I feel like it covered all the bases. Cause well, I and they're also good eyeshadow colors, too, you know? Yes. Do you like to go lighter or, like, I'm, obviously, I like a darker brow. Um, about the same color, like, as my Your roots. roots. That's, okay. yeah. That's yeah. what I would typically do. We're going to do some Face Atelier foundation. Ugh, love Face Atelier. Um, what color are you using? Six. Okay. Um, so they know how much I love Face Atelier, but what are your favorite foundations in your kit? Like, what do you stock? Um, I have Face Atelier. Okay. I have some RCMA. Okay. Um, for matte, I have Ben Nye um, HD Matte. The cream. Uh-huh. Yeah. The little, I actually just carry this guy. Okay. It's perfect. So okay. It has like almost every color I need. Um, and then I have some remnants of some Makeup Forever HD. Okay. I don't really love the formula anymore. Okay. I'm kind of using what I've got, and then I'm going to find something else. Okay. One of my favorite foundations for pretty much all skin types is Discontinued. And I'm yeah. I'm sick to my stomach about Which it. one? The G it's Givenchy uh -huh. Photo Perfection. Uh-huh. And I'm so mad about it. Because I only have like half a bottle of all my colors left. Yeah. But do you find yourself using Face Atelier the most? Almost all the time. Even on oily skin? Well, that seriously shine free stuff. It just works. It just works. Yeah. That, actually, that combination mm -hmm. is so good. Really? Yes. <clears throat> the Face Atelier just photographs it so does. nicely. And it just, I really love for skin to actually look like skin. Mm -hmm. um, I don't, I'm not a big fan of cake face. Nope. Um, and I like that you can build it up if you need to yep. and you can share it out but you really don't need to there i mean i've never really needed oh, to I share it either. Out. i think the only time i've ever needed to do that again was with male grooming yeah see i like face and body for male grooming yeah i typically do um the face atelier and then i also use the ben nye mm -hmm. for that mm -hmm. on dudes and then just kind of you know it's almost like i use the face atelier as more of a concealer yeah because they don't want that heavy heavy coverage no so you like to color correct your under eye, right? I do, because I have such darkness. Mm -hmm. This is Tarte Shape Cape. Okay. It's a peachy color. This is light medium honey. Okay. Um, I think the way that most people put Tarte on is wrong. 
They put way too much of it. Holy cow, it takes like one dot. I literally dotted that on here yeah. and I'm still like. Yeah, it's so, it's so heavy, people, the way people me. put it. Yep. And unfortunately it does, like, I've noticed on me, it goes straight into my fine lines. Yeah. Even when I use like a dot of it. Yeah. I just can't get away. I have so many concealers in my kit and yeah. I cannot get away from using the NARS. So now we're going to do some Laura Mercier. Tran uh, translucent? Yes. Or the hourglass. Hourglass, okay. sorry. <laughs> hourglass veil. Hourglass veil. Just kidding. We will use some Laura Mercier, but not yet. Okay, for me. This is the Laura well, Mercier. Oh, four. Okay, I don't have the 04. I want it, but I, I have the three. I love this bronzer. Same. I've worn it, I've worn it for like the past three days. Blush. Don't ask me what this name of this is. Is it Ben Nye? No. La Femme? Yes. Okay. I'm like, La Femme blushes are good. I have to think about it for a second. They last forever. Will you show that? Yes, they do. They last I mean, forever. Dirty. But they're so affordable. Yes. So is it, did you make I this probably, palette or did no, you? No, this is the one that comes, it's on camera ready cosmetics. Yes. Because um, I've gotten a couple of the singles. They're like $3. Yeah. This palette with, I mean, the container and everything, yes. I want to say was 40 or 50 Okay. Which is crazy. But that's, they're so pigmented. 12 colors. Yeah. And I mean, you tap once. They are so pigmented. That's all you okay, need. so what color? That one? that one? I think I might have that one. Yeah, they don't have names on them. So just a really neutral blush. Yeah. My lips look so dark right now. I'm such a like nude lip lover mm -hmm. that I feel like I have a red bold lip on right now. So I know I have a bad habit of like, I go heavy handed with blush and mm -hmm. bronzer at first. I do too. But I always, that's why I'm like, I hate my little brush. Mm -hmm. And then I go back and... So that's the same brush you had the foundation yeah, on? Yes, so okay. the foundation helps just kind of blend it in. And I mm -hmm. like how it just kind of make it look like it's actually a natural yep. color. You don't see any chalkiness from any powder products. So do you prefer powders to creams? It depends on the day. Okay. During the summer, powder for yes. sure. Um, I think in the wintertime, I probably lean more towards creams. That is like... <laughs> oh, he's a monster. So the Laura Mercier um, matte, well, I don't know why they call it matte. Matte Radiance. Matte Radiance Highlight 01. It's a contradictory. It, it really is. It's very pretty though. Yeah. So you're using a big brush for this. I yeah, because like it's just, I mean, I'm not coating the whole thing. I like yeah. touch. But I, that's, I, when I'm doing a highlight, again, like I don't want to see a strip mm -hmm. of highlight. Yep. Like I want it to look. I want it to look all skin. luminous skin, and I want it to all look melted together. Right. Now I will do a little bit on my finger. Uh huh. Love. I love a highlight mustache. Yep. A mustache. That's funny. <laughs> I try not to make a mustache. I know. I, I do. I do it myself. I'm like, to, and then oh. I'm like, buff it off. Yep. Because it is too much, but I just love to shine. And I'm like, if I look like I've been sweating, that's my ideal goals. Yeah. Yeah. But without the water drop. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> More Hourglass, the Ambient 3 Trio Dye. Okay. okay. And I'm just going to use that same, the other side of that fluffy brush. Okay. And I just... Put it through all the colors. They oh. know how much I, I've gone through, because I buff with this every mm -hmm. day. I've gone through like four compacts of the Radiant Light, and I have all pretty much all the colors in my kit. I love them. And then I'm actually going to take the same palette. And on a nice big fat fluffy eyeshadow brush and cover your eyes with that. Okay. So this is still the hourglass ambient powder. Yeah. Just but I'm just light. using the dim light. Dim. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm just gonna push a little bit of this dark brown into okay. the lash line. Okay. Oh, he's so pitiful. Yes, he's, <laughs> he's so pitiful. So mistreated, though. Oh, yeah. He's got a hard life, that one. <laughs> we had one before him, and then Chad had one when he was in college. Okay. I don't care to have another breed, probably for the rest of my life. Really? Yeah. They are amazing. 
they're expensive to feed. Yeah, they are. <laughs> but other than that, he's like the best dog. Um, I'm gonna use the lash. Oh lash yes, I, I used to use that. I like it. I love getting samples of mascaras yes. because they go straight into my kit, yep. especially with ones that I know I'm familiar with. Look down for me. Yeah, a lot of times, like, the tiny, tiny samples, like Lancome, mm -hmm. um, will give those, like, really small samples. I'll keep those in my kit and then just give them to the people. That way I can use the brush. Yeah. And... I do that. I have, like, the little tiny lip glosses. Yes. Things like that. Well, especially people that don't want lashes. Uh-huh. I'm like, the brushes it, are it, half of the... Coated and everything. Yeah, yeah, are half of the goodness of a mascara. But I've used this one before, the Lash Craft. Um, I like, as far as like drugstore, the CoverGirl Exhibitionist. Mm -hmm. So good. I think it's your real lashes. That's yeah. rude. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get a tissue. You're fine. You're, that's just rude. Well, I use Revitalash. Okay. Um, and I have for years. When I first started using it, I would use it every day. Mm -hmm. And then once I got like the lashes that I wanted, I only use it like three times a week now. Yeah. Just for like maintenance. Poor bud. I know. Chad! Can you hear him in your videos? He doesn't do this unless somebody else is up here that he doesn't know. Like, he won't whine like this. Mm -hmm. If somebody comes to the door and he barks, and yeah. This, this is, is a like clean beauty. Okay. So this is where she would stop for, like, a clean beauty everyday editorial life. type everyday shoot. Um, when she's doing, like, model headshots and stuff, this mm -hmm. is the kind of look that she does. So I think now... You're gonna like judge it up a little bit? Mm -hmm. Okay. Add some drama to the eyes, maybe. Okay. So, what are you just deepening up the crease? Yeah, I'm gonna okay. deepen up the crease a little bit. Um, and then maybe add a little sparkle. Okay. Are y'all a one pet family? Yes. Although sometimes he looks so depressed. I know. That's my dog. I'm, I'm like, like, like I you need a maybe friend. Sometimes he wouldn't be a jerk if he had a friend. I know. But he's not, he just looks so lonely. But right. it's really just the way masters look. Right. They have those like droopy eyes right. and. My sister-in-law had a Mastiff for a very long time. Her name was Ginger. No, She was so sweet. This color, yeah, let's put it over I don't there. remember the name of it, but it was in the... It's like a bronzy shimmer kind it's of It's so pretty. It's almost like a rose gold. Oh, really? Um, It was in one of the Lottie for Limelight okay. palettes that she did. Yep. Of course, they don't make it anymore. Of course. Um, always, I always fall in love with products like that. Yeah. It is my favorite. So you just put, are you putting that all over or yeah, just, just on, on the okay. bottom lid? Okay. And if you notice, y'all, she has not, she's, you've used the same brush for everything, yeah. haven't you? See, that's what I need this to start little, doing. This is a Japanesque 723. Okay. The tip of it, it's domed, so the tip of it right. comes to a point. Yeah. So if I go light enough, I can get it in a tight little space. Yeah. If I need to push harder to get up more coverage, mm -hmm. I can. Um, and I am actually going to pick up a little bit of the steel. It's Stila a little kitten. too light. And then this is the Viseart. Um, in the theory palette, the, the um, minx, yes, is it the minx? Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm love that bouncing one. back and forth between those two. Okay, so like a little gold shimmer, and then we all know yeah. what Steely Kitten looks like. Yeah, that rose gold on you is so good. Is pretty. Oh my gosh, your Yay. eyes are pop. Like, I don't even want to add eyeliner. So I don't so ever pretty? wear eyeliner. I, I tight wouldn't. line, but I don't ever I don't wear eyeliner. I don't do that. Yeah. I don't, I, I don't think it looks right on me for some reason. I'm going to use that purpley plummy brown. From the same, it's from, from the same, same from the Minx palette. Yeah. We're done. I love that. Okay. That looks so Good. pretty on you. Yay. So all she did was amp up the eyes a little bit really and mm -hmm. it took it from a more of a, a clean look to a, a more like of a, a bridal or yeah look. or night out or yeah. something i would even leave the lip alone too okay yeah Yay. i love it thank you do you need a set or do you not want to yeah we can okay what do you like for a setting um all nighter yeah um, I go back and forth between this and Scandinavia. I'm so jealous that you carry all of your stuff in these two bags. That is, those two bags are what I carry. It's so much stuff. Oh, the best thing to make it. I don't even know if that got on your face. No, it did. Okay. I felt something. It just yeah. looked like I it know. 
How do you feel? Good. Great. I like it.